A Babiel, Pakistan's MIRV capable missile, full explanation. Paragraph 1 Introduction to A Babiel. In the evolving landscape of South Asian strategic deterrence, Pakistan's missile development program has marked a significant leap forward with the unveiling of the A Babiel missile. First tested on January 24, 2017, Ababiel is a medium-range, surface-to-surface ballistic missile equipped with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles MIRVs. This technology allows a single missile to carry multiple warheads, each capable of striking different targets independently. Named after the sacred birds mentioned in Islamic tradition, Ababiel represents a major technological milestone for Pakistan's strategic deterrence posture, signaling the ability to penetrate advanced missile defense systems. Designed and developed by the National Development Complex NDC under the Strategic Plans Division SPD, of Pakistan's military, Ababiel solidifies Pakistan's second strike capability in response to growing regional threats, especially from India's nuclear triad and anti-ballistic missile ABM shields. Paragraph 2. Technical Specifications and Capabilities Ababiel is believed to have a range of approximately 2,200 kilometers 1,367 miles, allowing it to strike targets across India and potentially beyond, including parts of the Middle East and Central Asia. What sets it apart is its MIRV capability, a feat achieved by only a few countries such as the United States, Russia, China, and now Pakistan. The missile is capable of carrying multiple nuclear warheads, each of which can be individually guided to different targets after re-entering the atmosphere. These warheads can be nuclear, thermonuclear, or potentially conventional, although the primary purpose remains strategic nuclear deterrence. Ababiel uses advanced inertial and satellite guidance systems, likely enhanced by Pakistan's own satellite infrastructure, such as the PRSS-1 Pakistan Remote Sensing Satellite-1. The missile is road mobile, launched from a transporter erector launcher telephone vehicle, which enhances survivability and mobility in conflict scenarios. It is believed to use solid fuel, allowing for quick deployment and high responsiveness. Paragraph 3. Strategic Significance of MIRV Technology for Pakistan The introduction of MIRV technology through the Ababiel missile dramatically shifts the balance of power in South Asia. In Tel Ababiel, Pakistan relied on single warhead missiles like Shaheen II and Ghori. MIRVs provide the ability to overwhelm and defeat missile defense systems, such as India's Ballistic Missile Defense BMD shield, by releasing multiple warheads at different trajectories and speeds. This complicates interception and effectively ensures penetration of enemy defenses. Furthermore, it elevates Pakistan's credible minimum deterrence posture by reducing the need for a large number of delivery systems, thus maintaining strategic stability with fewer missiles. From a doctrinal perspective, Ababiel strengthens Pakistan's second strike capability, meaning that even after absorbing a first strike, Pakistan retains the ability to retaliate massively and decisively. This is a cornerstone of nuclear deterrence theory. The development also reflects Pakistan's determination to maintain strategic parity with India, which has its own MIRV program, such as the Agni V. Paragraph 4. Political, Regional, and Global Implications Ababiel's emergence has profound geopolitical implications. Regionally, it raises security concerns in India, prompting New Delhi to invest further in its own missile defense and counterforce options. This could ignite a new arms race, pushing both nations toward developing hypersonic missiles, space-based sensors, and advanced cyberwarfare tools to ensure survivability and preemption. Globally, Ababiel places Pakistan among the elite club of nations capable of deploying MIRV systems, demonstrating its technological maturity despite sanctions, export controls, and limited access to Western military technology. It also intensifies scrutiny from international non-proliferation regimes, especially the Nuclear Suppliers Group NSG, which continues to deny Pakistan membership despite its self-imposed nuclear restraint policies. Nonetheless, Pakistan insists that Ababiel is a purely defensive measure, aimed at deterring aggression and ensuring peace through credible minimum deterrence, consistent with its long-standing doctrine. Paragraph 5. Challenges, Future Developments, and Conclusion. Despite the success of Ababiel, challenges remain. MIRV technology is complex and expensive, requiring miniaturized warheads, precise guidance systems, and reliable re-entry vehicles. Maintaining and modernizing such systems demands significant financial and technical investment. Moreover, integrating MIRV systems into command and control without compromising nuclear safety and security is a delicate balancing act. Looking ahead, Pakistan may continue refining Ababiel's accuracy, survivability, and re-entry technologies, possibly expanding the MIRV concept to its naval platforms in the future to complete a full nuclear triad.
In conclusion, the Ababil missile marks a pivotal development in Pakistan's strategic deterrent capabilities. It reflects not just a technological triumph but a calculated geopolitical statement that Pakistan is prepared to ensure national security and regional stability, not through numbers, but through technological innovation, strategic clarity, and robust deterrence.